Governor Ron DeSantis made a quick stop in Panama City Beach today to discuss all things COVID-19. He reiterated that Florida will remain free from all mandates. And as News 13's Jake Holter tells us, the governor is working to make these measures permanent in the upcoming legislative session. Nobody should have to choose between a job they need and a shot they don't want. A sizable crowd gathered at the Todd Heron Dean Theater in Panama City Beach to watch Governor Ron DeSantis speak at his first trip to Bay County since his re-election. The topic of discussion, permanent freedom from all COVID-19 mandates. We also believe that being able to live your life, being able to breathe uh, the fresh air uh, is something that should basically be a civil right. Uh, you should not have to have any of these mask requirements imposed on you. COVID mandate reforms were put in place by the state legislature in 2021 and were written to last two years. They are set to expire on July 1st. But DeSantis says he is working to permanently prohibit vaccine and mask requirements in the upcoming legislative session. It's insane, it's irrational, and so no discrimination uh, on this vac status, uh, no requirements uh, of masking in lieu of vax or for any other reason, and those are really, really important. You know, sometimes you just have to say enough is enough, and you think you'd be enough, but you still see it all over this country. DeSantis is also addressing medical freedom of speech to the delight of attendees who waved signs saying science, not censorship and free speech, free state. In Florida, we're going to make sure uh, that those physicians are, are free to speak and free to uh, offer their opinions, uh, regardless of whatever may be in vogue politically or whatever some of the higher ups think is appropriate. In Panama City Beach, Jake Holter, News 13, Panhandle Strong.